Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got a circle as you can see in this diagram such that uh, this angle uh, AOD is 112 degrees and moreover this line segment uh, BP and this line segment uh, BC are equal in length. Now we are going to calculate this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's recall central angle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. If this angle is 112 degrees, then this angle is going to be the half of that one that is going to be 50 six degrees because this is our angle at the center and this is our angle at the circumference therefore our angle a b d turns out to be 56 degrees and now let's recall Thales theorem according to this theorem as long as these three vertices of this triangle a b c are on the circle and this AC is a diameter, then this angle ABC is going to be 90 degrees. So therefore our angle ABC, this one is 90 degrees. And now we know that this is our 90 degree angle and this is our 56 degree angle. So therefore this angle is going to be a 90 minus 56 is going to give us 34 degrees. Therefore, our angle PBC turns out to be 34 degrees. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle PBC and we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. Therefore, these two angles are going to be congruent. So if this angle is 34 degrees, then these angles are going to be 73 degrees each. Therefore, our angles BPC and angle BCP are 73 degrees each. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. Now let's recall a triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of all these three angles in this triangle ABC must be 180 degrees. Therefore, let me write down X plus 90 degrees plus 73 degrees. They all add up to 100 and 80 degrees and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we're gonna have x plus 163 degrees equals to 180 degrees now let's go ahead and subtract 163 degrees from both sides this is gone therefore our angle x turns out to be equal to 17 degrees so thus our angle X turns out to be 17 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.